98th Indian Science Congress has started in Chennai with a customary fanfare on 3rd January 2011. Approximately 7,000 participants witnessed the inauguration. Scientists who had been awarded for their outstanding work walked in a procession with the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Honorable Minister for Science and Technology, Shri Kapil Sibbal and other dignitaries were also present. The welcome address by Prof. K.C. Pandey, General President, Indian Science Congress Association, set the tone of deliberation for the next five days. The tradition of science in India extends back millennia with Aryabhat, Bhaskar, Brahmagup and other still celebrated for their foundational contributions to the field of mathematics, astronomy and chemistry. Honorable Minister for Science and Technology, Shri Kapil Sibbal was the next speaker. The Honorable Minister recalled that the last year was declared as the year of innovation and a National Innovation Council was set up by the Government of India. Sir, I recall that you had announced to the Science Congress last year that the Government had declared the decade of 2010-2020 to be the decade of innovation. Sir, true to your word, you have followed up on the announcement by setting up the National Innovation Council to prepare a roadmap for the decade of innovation based on your recognition that the socio-cultural context of our part of the world is quite different from that of the Western world. Thus, the approach and methodology for creating an inclusive and sustainable innovation ecosystem has to be essentially our own, that is, Indian. Twenty-seven scientists were awarded by Indian Science Congress Association. These awards were given away by the Prime Minister. Srinivasa Ramanujam Birth Centenary Award goes to Professor Alam Aparao. SN Both Birth Centenary Award goes to Professor Balram Bhargava. SK Mistra Birth Centenary Award goes to Dr. T. Madan Mohan. The time has come for India to produce the Ramans and the Ramanujans of the 21st century. This year, as we usher in the new year, we also usher in the decade of innovation. There is no better way to do that than to salute the creativity and the genius of our scientists, our engineers, our professionals, our workers, our scholars and students gathered here today. I am delighted that the theme of the 98th Science Congress is quality education and excellence in science research in Indian universities. I have always believed that a university is the vital link in the chain of science teaching and research. We must never forget that. Unless we strengthen the base of our educational system, we can never hope to extend the height of the pyramid of excellence. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for those inspiring words here at SRM. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the General President of the Indian Science Congress Association, Professor Pandey, will be presenting a memento to the Prime Minister.
after the inaugural session, plenary sessions started. Dr. Kasturi Rangan, Prof. P. Ramarao, Dr. M. S. Valiathan, and Dr. Arun Myra expressed their views on science policy and set the agenda for next five years. All the scientists emphasized that the process of creating linkages with the industry and international collaboration needs to be accelerated. The lively plenary session on chemistry of future started with a strong point made by Professor C. N. R. Rao. Speaking on the topic, he traced several major landmarks in chemistry, beginning with Michael Faraday, Professor Rao took the audience on a historical journey. Ladies and gentlemen, in a science congress, we should talk more of science rather than science policy. I'm glad you had a meeting on science policy. I'm nothing against it, but I think that should take the last session. Not the first one, but I was disappointed that something as important as the International Year of Chemistry for the first time in the history of the world Chemistry has been recognized as a subject for 2011 by the United Nations. We did not find it important enough to give it a prime place in this science congress. But anyway, they have given some time, that they, uh, the two with a parallel session rather than a complete session by itself, but doesn't matter, at least chemistry has some corner, some place in this world. In his presentation, titled Nanochemistry, Professor T. Pradeep deliberated on the new science. The understanding of particle at nanometer scale, he said, will produce novel material in future. Next presentation in this session was made by Professor Uday Maitra. He focused on the area of organic chemistry and organic materials. The most experienced scientist in a separate session in the afternoon discussed the issue of quality education. In the last session, the hall was thronged by scientists to listen to Dr. Ada Yonav, Nobel Prize winner for the Chemistry 2009. Dr. Yonath had shared this highest award with Professor Ramakrishnan. That most of the cell the cellular functions are performed by proteins. In this little children's type a diagram, we show different proteins, like the structural proteins, the transport proteins that you probably know very well, hemoglobin, for instance, the transport oxygen from the lung to the, to the muscles, regulatory proteins like insulin, sensory proteins, and enzymes that chop and cut our food. 